Hello YouTube, it's uh, me with another video, and uh, today I wanted to kind of do a video about uh, timber cruising and more specifically uh, equipment. Uh, I kind of want to set up a series of videos maybe that will help uh, people um, with timber cruising. And um, so timber cruising is the method of determining gross and net volume of a stand, stand of timber. And uh, what that allows us to do is that to estimate volume. Um, and because that volume has a uh, monetary value. And uh, that's how we can actually sell timber, um, which um, is bought by a a logger or some other contractor and then it's either um, processed internally say if they have their own mill or the uh, loggers slash contractor uh, whoever it is they sell that product to a mill but where I work uh, currently um, we don't really have much of a uh, traditional uh, market like that so what we do a lot of is stewardship agreements um, which we're um, the organization that I work for um, pays the uh, contractor or whoever uh, to do the work um, so that because the the material is too low of value um, to uh, sell outright you know for a stumpage price you know price of timber on the stump um, you know but we also can uh, do what's called a service agreement which is a straight a trade across uh, straight across trade product for services so they do the service work of thinning the trees and uh, doing the, the uh, treatment and they get to keep the wood um, outright or um, and then you know there's uh, you know assistance and stuff like that but um, that's for a later discussion but uh, today I wanted to get into kind of just some of the basic um, tools that I use uh, for timber cruising as a uh, as a forester so first is actually what's called a loggers tape and a loggers tape is um, it's a metal tape so you have this uh, metal tape and it's actually um, so this side right here it's uh, in tenths of inches um, which is used to uh, measure diameters uh, tree of, of a tree and uh, the measuring point or where you measure on the tree is uh, called the DBH and that's four and a half feet off the ground um, on the highest side of the tree um, and uh, I can go over that with you later um, so yeah this is used um, to measure um, diameter and this is used to measure distance and so the difference between uh, this side right here where my thumbs at and this side is that this side only goes out to I think 12 or 15 feet and this side goes out to 75 so um, and uh, and uh, the reason why uh, that is is that um, loggers um, hence the name loggers tape they actually measure trees um, with these uh, so they know how to how what lengths they need to uh, buck them up at um, so that so that they can fit on um, all haul trucks and then be uh, taken to the mill um, but uh, the most common distance that I use uh, for measuring uh, with a loggers tape is 66 feet which is one chain and that's a uh, base height for the topographical scale for uh, measuring heights um, and then there's also um, uh, the uh, percent scale which is uh, your baseline is 100 feet so um, it's I can also explain that later but it's all it's a uh, trig it's um, like geometry trigonometry um, you know algebra it's math um, so it's it's another discussion for another uh, video but um but the chain a chain is how far you stand away from a tree to measure the height um, same with um, like if you go a hundred feet um, you have to use the topographical scale of a clientometer it's just this guy um, you know which is this guy uh, to measure the height of the the tree, but this uh, clinometer is in um, 
uh, degrees and um, percent. So um, I have to use uh, the um, percent scale um, to measure heights. And, uh, and so I actually have to tape off twice with this if I was to use this guy. Um, uh, so I could achieve 100 as a baseline. And then there's also equations where you could um, do uh, other than baseline. And um, it's actually not that hard. Um, I could go over that with you. Um, but if this was a topographic uh, clinometer, um, you could um, just chain out to uh, uh, 66 feet and measure from there. And that's what I'm typically used to. I actually bought this clinometer by mistake. Um, I was needing a topographic and I got a uh, percent. Or, uh, um, so anyhow, um, next and, and, um, yeah, so the, um, measuring, um, you look through here to determine and, um, if they're, um, and you're going to see like negative and positive, um, for like the topographic and the percent scale. And if they're different signs, like if one's like negative, one's positive, you add them together. If like they're the same such as a positive and positive you subtract them and ideally you want to try to be on the same contour um, as the tree you know you don't want to go like downhill from it because that might throw off your uh, your reading um, but I'm going to see if I can try to if you can see you might be able to see and they're not it doesn't look like it um, so yeah um, there's so there's that um, and then you have what's called a cruising vest and a cruising vest is just a um, a cloth vest um, that you use to uh, um, that you wear um, when you're out timber cruising, and typically they come in like a like an orange or something. Just you know, because uh, uh, as foresters, we work a you know lot lot around uh, loggers and big equipment and stuff. And I guess they decided to make them orange so that we wouldn't you know some unsuspecting forester didn't get run over by a skidder or something you know so um yeah another important piece or another uh yeah a piece of equipment is actually a compass um compass is very very important in uh, what we do um and this is just a uh a brunton uh compass it has a mirror um, that but uh in, in fixed plot cruising uh we have um a pl what's called a plot radius and a plot center. A plot center is the center point of the uh, the uh, plot, and the plot's a circle. That and uh, that radius uh, is determines the size of the plot in terms of area. So, like a one and twentieth acre, like a one twentieth acre plot, uh, the radius is twenty six point three three feet. Um, so you measure from plot center out to 26.33 and that's your radius and then you start from north hence why you have a compass um, and uh, so you can shoot an azimuth determine north and then so you can work systematically in uh, clockwise um, so that you can determine all the trees that fall within your plot um, for advanced cruiser um, you know qu uh, qualified cruiser which is um, kind of the it's it's an advanced cruising it's a cruising class but advanced cruiser um which is you know the the next class after qualified cruiser um they want you to they uh they expect you to navigate from different plots um using only a map and compass no gps um typically you know i use gps uh because it's faster and all that and i'm not currently qualified cruiser that'll probably actually be in a couple years um and then also and then here's the uh my safety helmet you know because we're all about safety in forestry um, and this is a uh, Bullard wildland fire helmet um, you know and if you haven't guessed uh, I'm also somewhat involved in that I'm actually kind of behind the curb and trying to get some time in um, and so where I actually can build up my qualifications and maybe get some more time out on the line um, but yeah, this is kind of just the basic equipment that we use. We also use wedge prisms, which I don't have with me, um, but they're a piece of glass that's cut at a certain angle uh, called uh, diopters, um, and it reflects light. 
Um, and that's for variable plot cruising. A variable plot cruising is kind of difficult to explain. Uh, so I'm going to probably have to dedicate an entire video to that. Um, and I don't know if it's really difficult, but it's just, there's a lot to it if you don't, if you're not familiar with cruising. And then you have, uh, plastic flagging, um, which you can use for, uh, they come in all kinds of, uh, colors and styles. So you can get like tiger stripe ones and polka dot ones. But, uh, like the orange, it's typically used for like layout for, uh, you know, boundaries. And then you have, um, you know, other ones that designate like plot center and plot radius and, and, uh, depends on like what you're doing, um, in terms of marking, uh, if you're using tree paint or whatever. Um, I currently haven't used any tree paint so far this summer and pretty much season's over because I got to go back to school. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to go over it with that. And then, uh, it's always good to have some, uh, writing, uh, material and, um, you know, I, I like I really like these right in the rain notebooks. Um, you know, I really became a fan of them in the army, and um, but it's all, always good to take notes. Granted, they're gonna you know if you you're actually cruising and um, and whatnot, you're actually using data sheets. Um, but if you make any kind of observations, that's that's that, and then. Um, you know, and then I typically like have a pack or something like that, um, which I carry stuff in. Um, and then obviously there's other things, you know, like, like rain gear and first aid kit and water and lunch and, and stuff like that. So, um, anyhow, um, I just wanted to kind of go over some basic materials for, uh, the timber cruising and, uh, hope to, uh, build upon it and, uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.